वेलकम टू माई YouTube चैनल सिविल इंजीनियरिंग क्रिएशन टुडे वी विल फाइंड द स्पोर्ट रिएक्शंस ऑफ सिंपली स्पोर्टेड बीम विद यूनिफॉर्मली डिस्ट्रीब्यूटेड लोड हेर यू कैन सी वी हैव अ बीम ए बी ऑफ एट मीटर विद यूनिफॉर्मली डिस्ट्रीब्यूटेड लोड ऑफ सिक्स किलो न्यूटन पर मीटर एक्टिंग ऑन एट मीटर्स so first of all we will calculate the moment at point a then at point b then we will perform the equilibrium check and at the end we will draw the free body diagram bending moment diagram and shear force diagram so let's start the calculation of moment at point a this is the point a and if we calculate the moment at point a then the sum of moment acting on a will be zero and these are the assumption that we will consider the clockwise moment as positive and anti clockwise moment as negative if we consider the moment at point a then this uniformly distributed load will bend the beam in clockwise direction and this support reaction of rb will resist the bending moment in anti clockwise direction so let's calculate the moment at point a the sum of moment will be zero and this plus sign shows that this bending moment is in clockwise direction and minus sign shows that this support will resist the moment in anti clockwise direction you can consider the clockwise moment as negative and anti clockwise moment as positive but one should be positive the other one will be negative so let's start the calculation w is the uniformly distributed load acting on 8 meter of length and acting from the centroid here you can see we have a rectangular load so the centroid would be the center of the beam l by 2 and similarly the moment at this support b that is rb is the support reaction and the moment arm will be the l that is 8 meter so after putting the values the equation would becomes 24 kN at point b we can also calculate the support reaction of simply supported beam with uniformly distributed load with the help of this formula w l by 2 w is the uniformly distributed load l is the total length where the uniform distributed load act and divided by it with the 2 to get the reactions r a and r b similarly we can calculate the support reactions at point b if we consider the moment at point b then this udl will bend the beam in anti clockwise direction so we will consider it as negative and this support will resist the beam in will resist the bending moment in clockwise direction so we will consider it as positive so this is the equation again minus sign shows that the bending moment is in anti clockwise direction and this plus sign shows that the support reaction will resist the moment in clockwise direction if we consider the moment at point b again w is the uniform distributed load l is the length where the udl acts and l by 2 is the centroid of the udl so r is the support reaction after putting the values we will get the r a that is 24 kN as well we can also calculate with the help of this formula let's check for equilibrium for that we will consider the condition of equilibrium is the sum of all the forces acting in vertical direction or acting in y direction would be zero the upward forces will be considered as positive and the downward will be considered as negative so the upward that is 24 kN and this 24 kN at r a and r b and minus sign shows that the udl acting in the downward direction and 6 into 8 means the total load acting on the beam so that is 
so the sum of this moment will be zero it means our support reactions are correct let's draw the free body diagram for that we have a beam ab with uniformly distributed load of 6 kN per meter acting on 8 meters with the support reactions 24 kN on each side now we will write the shear force equation and also draw the shear force diagram for that we have a beam ab and the shear force equation would be v is the shear force and x means wherever we want to calculate the shear x is the distance for example we want to calculate the shear at 3 meter it means the x would be 3 if we want to calculate the shear at the center that is 4 meter so the x would be 4 meter in this example we will calculate the shear at three points first of all we will calculate the shear at point a then at the center of beam and at the end we will calculate at the b so let's start the calculation of shear at point a for that r a is the support reaction and plus sign because it act in the upward direction and minus sign shows that the udl acting in downward direction w is the udl acting on x after putting the values ra would be the uniformly distributed load acting on length l divided by it with the 2 so at point a the shear would becomes 24 kN because x is 0 at point a let's draw a line of 24 kN at point a now we will calculate the shear at center of the beam and at the center of beam the x would becomes 4 meter from a so the shear at the center after putting x is 4 would be 0 and similarly at point b the x would be 8 meter so after putting 8 in this equation the shear would be minus 24 kN that's why we have drawn this 24 kN in the downward direction because of the minus sign now let's join these two points to get the shear force equation the upper part would be the positive shear and this lower part would be the negative shear let's draw the bending moment diagram with the help of shear force diagram you can use use the area method but in this example i will wrote the bending moment equation here so we have a beam ab with center c the bending moment equation is very simple to write you just have to multiply the shear force equation with the moment arm so ra is the reaction acting at x x would be the moment arm and minus sign shows that is in the anti clockwise direction or again wx is the load and acting from the centroid that is x by 2 so after putting the values the equation would becomes wl by 2 into x minus w into x square by 2 so moment at point a would becomes 0 kN per meter because x is 0 at point a and at the center the moment would be 48 kN because at the center the x is 4 meter and at point b the moment or again the zero because x is 8 at this point so the bending moment equation will becomes will looks like this with 48 kN meter of maximum bending moment and this is the positive bending moment we can also calculate the maximum bending moment or at the center of the beam 
with the help of this equation W L square by 2 in case of simply supported beam with uniformly distributed load. This is the result. We have a problem. This is the free body diagram. Here is the shear force diagram and this is the bending moment diagram. Thanks for watching and subscribe my channel.